Hello everyone, and welcome to another Miniature Monday. I'm Scott, and today we will be working on a technique that has been burning in the back of my brain from day one. Fire Effects This is the Medium Fire Elemental from Reaper, and as far as fire-themed miniatures go, it is beautifully sculpted and finely detailed. Sure, we could be working on a simple campfire or torch right now, but this model is really going to challenge us, and it is when we are challenged that we improve. Our paints are laid out and ready to go, so let's cork this mini and get to work. First up, we are going to use Army Painter's Lava Orange to put a base coat down on the whole mini. Now I'm going to be honest, I shouldn't have done this. The theory was I wanted to put a base coat down that would take paint better and stick with the color theme of the mini. But halfway through I realized I was going to need to put a base coat of yellow down over the whole piece anyway. So why was I doing this? In the future, I'm just going to start with the next step. So let's go ahead and get to it. Using Army Painter's Daemonic Yellow, we are going to now rebase the whole miniature. At its hottest point, a fire burns brilliant white, and I want this mini to feel as though it burns hot. It is a living fire, after all, but I didn't want the majority of the body to be that brilliant white. We still need some room to highlight the core of the creature. As a flame cools, it turns yellow, Though it is technically cooler, yellow flame still burns around 2200 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1200 degrees Celsius, which is plenty hot for this creature. Now that the basing is done, we are going to move back to our lava orange and work our way out to the edges of the wings, as well as the high details of the body and base. These are the areas that are farther away from the source of the flame and are therefore cooling, and as a flame cools, it moves from yellow to then orange. It was around this time that I began to feel as though I was doing something wrong. I wasn't sure what it was, but it didn't feel right. Eventually I realized it's because painting fire is just highlighting in reverse. The raised details of the mini get darker, while the closer sunken in areas will eventually be painted brighter. I guess I had just been doing highlighting for so long that this felt alien to me. After realizing why I felt off, it was easy to push that aside and press forward. Moving down in temperature, flame turns red, and we are going to use Army Painter's Dragon Red to continue outwards on the flames. Here is where we are starting to move closer to the edges and any of the licks of flame that are moving away from the main body. But don't get too finely detailed here though. We still have one cooling layer after this. the last darker tone, we are going to use Vallejo's Burnt Red for the coolest parts of the fire. These are going to be the tips of the wings, both upper and lower, the wisps of the hair, and the outstretched fingertips. We will also use this as a slight edge highlighting on the edges of the wings. At this point, the shifts in color might be looking a little drastic and inorganic. So next, we are going to go back through and blend them together. To do this, we are going to go over each transition with a new tint made of an equal mixture of both colors. First up, we will mix Dragon Red with Burnt Red, and just brush over where those two tones meet. Then Dragon Red with Lava Orange, and then Lava Orange with Damon Yellow. This will subtly soften the transitions and make the flame look a bit more alive. Lastly, we need to tackle the hottest parts of the mini. To do that, we will use Army Painter's Matte White and go back to a simple layering technique. However, rather than highlighting the highest space, 
we are actually going to highlight down to the hottest part of our flame until we are painting pure white. For this mini, I've chosen the eyes, parts of the legs, and core of the chest. And with that, the final spark of life has been brought to our flame elemental. Now that we've come this far, I have a confession to make. This was my first time ever painting flame effects. I know, you'd think by now I would have painted a lantern or something, but no, this was it. And I'm not gonna lie, I think this mini makes my top five of favorites that I've done. Learning how to paint fire was so much fun, and now I'm just excited to paint more of it. Is there a technique that you've been meaning to learn but have been putting off? Let me know in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learning with me. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more nerdy content. Once again, I'm Scott, and I will see you at the next Miniature Monday.